So now we're ready to see where the resting stencil comes from. Let's make this more like a real life situation, of sorts. Let's imagine the cell as a bar, two bars actually, an inside bar representing the intracellular space and an outside bar representing the extracellular space. There's quite a rogues gallery hanging out in both bars. Some of the patrons are quite mobile, others less so. Going back to our drunken sailor analogy from a minute ago, we'll think about cations, positively charged ions, as male sailors and anions, negatively charged ions, as female sailors. By default, the gender balance is pretty close to equal. Let's pay attention to two groups in particular. This group of male sailors from the US Navy will be our sodium ions, and these guys from the British Navy will be our potassium ions. It's Fleet Week. There are two forces that drive the resting potential. First, the sailors from each navy, American and British, are always independently trying to balance themselves out between the two rooms, so they have equal coverage in both places. If there's somehow got to be more Brits, say on one side, then they'll work to correct the imbalance. This is diffusion. But there's another force at work. They're also trying to balance out the gender ratio on both sides. If, say, there gets to be an excess of male sailors on one side, <clears throat> then they'll feel uncomfortable and try to get to the other side. Female sailors, anions, feel the opposite affinity. This, of course, assumes that the sailors are all heterosexual. Let's not push the analogy too hard, lest it break. This gender balance seeking force is the electrostatic force. Here's where it gets interesting. The reason that there's a negative resting potential inside the cell is because there's a British bouncer Yo. who only lets the Hi. Brits go between the two rooms. Hello. By default, there are a lot of Brits in the inside room and only a few of them in the outside room. Because of this imbalance, they want to go out. Remember, they want to fulfill their mission to equally cover the two territories. The Brits, who are all male in this example, would all rush through and balance out to equal numbers in both rooms if it weren't for the fact that doing so would badly disturb the gender ratio. If they completely balanced out their numbers across the two rooms, there would be a significant excess of men in the outside room. You see, the outside room already has a bunch of males, including our friends, the American sailors. In principle, these guys could trade places with the Brits and preserve the gender balance, but here's the key the British bouncers don't let them move into the inside room. They're stuck. Mm -hmm. The equilibrium potential is all about balance. It's a balancing point between diffusion and electrostatic forces. 